You're okay! Oh my god, you scared us so bad, Reg! And you really need to have every one of the top hats have oxygen masks in their hats. Especially for space. Reg! Are you okay? What are you going to do now, Reg? He's alive! I'm alright. Chest hurts a bit and breathing is a bit difficult. But it's nothing I couldn't handle. Were you worried for me? You guys are cute, really. Didn't I tell you that I'm not ready to die just yet? But thank you. It's nice to know that you care for me. Well, the plan now is to make our way to the jungle, repair the airship, install oxygen mask into the hats, and then keep working on our big plan. Was that everything, Rady? Right hand man just nodded. Now that all that craziness is done, how are we gonna get back into the air? You guys are dead meat! Seriously, the government will see you and storm the now slowly sinking ship at any time. You guys got a plan B in case the airship is gonna sink? Well, uh, when I want the airship to start flying, I just usually just turn on the engine and fans, and that works most of the time. Did you think we wouldn't be able to fly after we landed in the water? I just landed in the ocean to put the fire out. The ship has air tanks installed, so it would be able to float on water. Did no one tell you that the whole time? And he was right. After he pushed the lever, the airship whirred back to life, and Reginald sat down in the pilot's seat. Wright didn't look like he agreed with Reginald immediately continuing his flying, but he didn't say anything. Let's head for the jungle, then. This is the second time Reg almost died. There may be an imposter among us. If the leader of the clan can't almost die two times in, what, a week? Without being an imposter in the clan. You guys know that there's still a traitor slash imposter among us? Yes, that was a reference. There is a traitor among us. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you. They're right, Reg. There's probably a traitor in the clan. These guys are dumb, but not dumb enough to set off explosions by accident. Someone's trying to assassinate ya. I know. It, you knew? Ow. I knew when you told me something was wrong with the electricity. And you probably noticed that our lights still don't work. The only thing that works right now is the flying gear, and it's using the emergency electricity that's away from the main power. And guess what? The main power isn't anywhere near the cargo, so it couldn't have been damaged by the explosion or the fire. You know what this means? Someone cut the wires! Exactly. This is the only way I can explain it. Sadly, we don't know if the traitor already left the ship in his escape pod. We know they were still here after your rewiring, but after that it's a wild guess. Call Sven and tell him about our situation. Tell them to do background checks on the ones that arrived at the jungle base already, while we keep an eye on the remaining top hats here on the ship. Right hand man? We need to stay together during the rest of the flight. We are both targets, and need to keep an eye out for each other. Don't leave my side. I'd never. I'll call Sven and tell him our situation. Svensson, can you hear me? Where- Where are you two? I keep waiting for you because it's hailing escape pods, thinking you and the boss are gonna be in one of them. I'm worried sick, because all I hear is you getting wired and a fire breaking out in the ship. What's going on up there? Sven, relax. We're having the situation under control now. But we have reason to assume that there's a traitor on either the airship or in one of the escape pods that arrived. How long will you need to get here? I'll have some medics and the repair crew ready. Well, if we ain't having any more interruptions, probably just a few days more. Got it. I'll see if I can find anything out about our traitor. Good luck to you. Stay safe, and keep an eye on the boss. Does right hand man eat? Maybe he's so mad always because he's just hangry. Are you accusing me of not feeding my right hand man enough? Rest assured, he eats enough. Even more when he is hangry. Reggie, right hand man, have you lads ever switched hats before? Look, righty, now I'm the right hand man and I'm gonna protect you. You can trust me. Thanks, Reg. Can I ask your orientations? I know some people find it rude. Well, I usually use a compass or a map for that. When I have it available, I switch to the GPS. You have no idea how easy it can be to get lost without proper equipment. Right hand man is very sturdy and has a high pain tolerance, but admittedly, that mistake was painful. Reggie, Righty, if you don't mind me asking, what are you guys' sexualities? I know it's none of my business, but I'm really rather curious. Oh, and Maud, this isn't a shipping ask. 
I'm genuinely intrigued. Okay, now for real. No, Reginald's not a lesbian. He just has no idea about the flags and thought the lesbian flag looked nice. He's actually pan. Means he likes everyone. Right hand man is demisexual. Means his feelings build up slowly and he only goes into a relationship with someone he knows and has a close friendship with already. Besides, I don't mind shipping asses at all. I ship it too. I just don't want to rush it, so don't worry. You guys aren't annoying me. What is Right Hand Man's real name? Oh, that's an easy one. It's actually none of your fucking business. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> it's <laughs> one of those Welsh names. <laughs> M.A. Murreggy for three asks? Ah. Bridge? Are you okay? Holy shit. Uh, how did you do this? I didn't know you can do this. Right Hand Man. Right hand man picked Reginald up and plopped him down on the pilot seat so he didn't have to sit on the ground. What, uh, what do we do now? <sighs> we'll wait it out. It's the only thing we can do, really. Reginald, what's it like driving the airship? It's not as exciting as you think. I could do maneuvers and so on, but it's my job to fly safely, so I can't really- Right, stop watering me, I'm not a plant. Where did you get that can anyway? I ain't risking you drying out or something. As I was saying, it's not too difficult once you get the hang of it. But if you try to fly it without any knowledge, you'll most definitely crash. It takes some time to learn it properly. Only me and Wright can fly the ship so far. But we plan on teaching some executives too. Hey Reggie, now that you were turned into a mermaid, are there any powers that come with it? A possible example would be that in mythology, mermaids slash simons could charm people with their singing. I wonder if Reggie can do that siren thing where he sings and controls people. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I mean, as long as it lasts, the time is almost over anyway. Reggie, look over here for a sec. What? Aw, it didn't work. It's probably for the better. I shouldn't have tested that out on you anyway. I'm sorry, right? No problem. Yo guys, we can have seafood today. Takes out knife and frying pan. Also, I just found this blog. Love it. Thanks for creating this. Mwah. Close kiss to mod. Fuck off or I will grill you instead. Sorry, Anon. You'll have to get your fish and chips elsewhere. Right hand man isn't too happy about your attempt. Neither is Reginald. But he's a fish, so who cares? The magic is over now, anyway. I got your love. Thank you, Anon. Is Reg okay? Wait, the magic anon is over! Great! The effects that RHM felt from Reginald Singh should be gone now! It's been three posts, so I guess Reginald is back to normal. Yeah, I'm alright. It wasn't too bad. It was actually a bit funny, you know? Apart from some of you trying to eat me. I'm gonna look past that. I'm a forgiving man. <laughs> uh, right, say something. It wasn't so bad, was it? My word, uh, t don't worry. I can fix this uh, somehow. Uh, Reg, you should probably take a closer look at Right Hand Man. Um, I think something happened to RHM. Reginald, what were you trying to do? Reggie? Where right at man's eyes always purple? Can I MA him to just keep that power indefinitely? I think it worked. And I don't think he's the only one you hit with that, Reginald. Reginald, what song did you sing to right hand man? R Reggie, I think you did something to right hand man. After Reg was freed from his Disney esque prison, was right hand man still under the spell? I don't think it matters anyways. He'd still act the same. Aw, it looks like Reginald isn't a mermaid. Merman? Anymore. But Reginald, you may need to take a closer look again at Right Hand Man. Right? Righty, wake up, come on, can you hear me? Right. No luck. Right, come on, stop it. Stop out of it. Right, stop messing with me. Still nothing. My word, right. That thing over there, that's incredible. You're missing it. Nice try, but still no reaction. Ta-da! Wow, that was incredible. Didn't work either, though.
As much as Reginald likes Mr. Macbeth's theme song, it didn't snap Right Hand Man out of it either. Very creative, though. Right? I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to use... drastic measures. Alright, if that's how you want it to be. <laughs> Reginald is having a very bad day right now. Where are you two? That's the best it's gonna be. Where are you two? <laughs> it's not good, but it'll do. The ship has air tanks installed, so it won't, would be able to float on water. See, that's what I mean by fucking stuttering over my words. <laughs> It's not X. Oh, fuck. It's not X. I ain't risking you dying now. Or drying. Dying? It might have fits, but no. A possible example could be that in myth mythology. Didn't stop my right hand, man. <laughs>